Say, what you doing? Designing class 4A's float for the annual friendship parade. What a stupendous honor. But no soldier does anything alone in this man's army. You'll need pluck, grit, and fortitude. And fortitude if you run out of fortitude. You'll need constant encouragement. Can you say, I'm special? Vigorous neck rubs. Oh, you've got more knots than the Ten Commandments. And strong coffee. I am God Maldez, and this is my mule, Ploppo, who has not slept in 37 years. <laughs> and you'll need... Done. Then again, you can't overthink these things. A human's job, son. Our town's beloved founder, Hiram Friendly, would be honored by this heartfelt tribute to his ideals. He'll be waving from the stand Saturday. Make us proud of the name Flemkin. Mmm, <laughs> cherry flavor. So, what do you want me to do first? Hammer? Drill? Oh, yeah. Drainage. Right there. All right there. Oh, uh, so? Look, I can ride the bus at half price. You can't help. We're supposed to build these all by ourselves. <laughs> okay, Sheriff. If then you don't need me around here, I'll just pack up my limp and be going. We? There's other floats? Sure. Every class makes one. Of course. Why didn't I see it? It's a competition. Ice cream. All the fish in the ice cream. This is Delta Bravo Foxtrot X-Ray Lumpy Pudding Zebra Nostril Pygmy. I need a covert recon on the float building competition. And a shorter code name over. I'll take little new Don and kids who have their hearts broken by overachieving show-offs for 200, Alex. So, you saw Brad Prixley's float? Are you kidding? You could see it from space! That's one small step for man. Whoa! One giant float for friendly fire. Oh, you're exaggerating. Oh! It was like this, but it was tall, and it was wow, with the stuff, and the lights were flashing, and spinning, and look at you, you little munchkin boy. A really, really big float. My float is fine. Not fine enough. This is what we do. If they had a nail, we had a river. If they had a balloon, we had a dirigible. They send one of our tires to the garage, we send one of theirs to the moor. Nails. 39 cents. Is there anything else? Yes, my grandson would also like 200 board feet of ponderosa pie, 2 by 4, 4 by 2, 6 by 9, and 8 by 10. He'd need a spitting image of his father. Plus, we need paint. Paint dinner, paint Dickner, paint Rodner, paint Helper. Now he's joking off the spicy diet. 300 horsepower engine with oil gauge, automatic starter, automatic stopper, welding helmet, welding summer helmet, really gun, staple gun, glue gun, nail gun, pop gun, Peter gun. He was so macho. Jackhammer, Jill hammer, front tires, back tires, side tires, and 600 square feet of bulletproof steel. Oh, and these press me. A couple of tiny revisions to your plans. Okay, but I want to make sure it's still about friendship. It will be. But you're thinking small. You've got to unlock your full potential here. And you can, with my easy-to-purchase seminars. Books, tapes, posters, videos, cats, beach blankets, gift wraps, and easy-to-apply confidence ointment. Yeah, you know. Whatever. See you in an hour. I'll wait for you, Nettie. Newton, if you build it, they will come. Newton? <gasps> He's beauty, ain't he, 
son. Belonged to my own sandy grandma who never drove her over two miles an hour. <laughs> her bright career was cut short by a tragic waving accident. Cool. That engine must be at least 3,000 horsepower. Seven! And with those massive carburetors that suck in air, you'd miss keeping any loose clothing. <laughs> well, away from it. That's the deafening sound of 12 massive cylinders under the bonnet. And three more under the seat to bash your bum as you're driving. And then put a hockey card in the spokes for that real engine sound. No doubt about it. This is the world's premier parade float. Even faster than the one driven in Indy last week by Henderson spit upon me. Wow! The engine revs to 12,000 RPMs. And yet, to give you an idea, if you turn the handle of this pencil sharpener that fast, it would shave a giant sequoia into a pencil two shot to you in under 3.9 seconds. <laughs> Ned, bedtime. This is going to be the greatest float ever. Thanks a million, Newton. I'm the happiest kid in Friendly Fall. He's miserable. Something's troubling the boy, Pa. He's shattering a hog on a diet. But what does the boy want, Watson? And where was the butler at six o'clock this morning? And why was his head locked from the inside? I say, Watson, it's elementary, old boy. This thing's not big enough. rock doesn't look like it's been slept on at all. Wow! Mr. Friendly, I just want to say it's an honor to meet you. Say, I forgot my teeth. Could you chew this for me? We're almost ready to begin. Where's Ned Flemkin's float? Seven or fifty miles an hour, whichever's faster. Come, that's madness talking, and I should know, because I spend my time in the engine room going like this. <laughs> when I pull this lever, we go. No, that's the lever I pull after we go. Fancy breaks when I've got this. In the event of a foot fire, an emergency lake will drop from the compartment above your head. Lake! We're sinking! Don't worry, Natty. Wyoming's got the ball. He fades back, 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 and it's away! Yeah! Ah! Ouch! Ned Flimkin, you got a lot of explaining to do there. You'll still be serving this detention when you're in college. That was the rudest, meanest, most disrespectful thing I ever saw. Hmm. It was brilliant. You turned peace and love into competition and then drowned competition in the lake. It was a perfect symbolic tribute to my friendly ideals. Woo! 